Now I have an item that I want to go through with you. That's the power pot. If uh, those who follow me on Mr. From Animan uh, YouTube channel, you've seen me use this before. This has been in testing for quite a while. Uh, what it is basically it's a way to uh, charge up your devices, be it your mobile, tablet, uh, anything that you can charge up via USB using your fire and you can also get a brew on at the same time. Okay, so basically power pot, I make electricity and uh, I've put it all back in the box just to show you what you get. So, box away. This has been used. Let's take all out. There's all our cabling, which we'll go through in a second. Nice mesh bag. Very thick mesh bag to keep it all together for yourself when you're going out camping. Just stow it in that mesh bag and chuck it in your rucksack. But uh, you can see it's not, not the cleanest. Has been used. Um, but as it's part of the testing, you don't really get nice clean stuff here with me uh, doing the product testing. So um, if you want that, go somewhere else. But uh, here we are. This is the power pot. This is our main pot. Obviously, you can see we're sitting this on top of this is my wood burning stove outside, and uh, we're basically going to try and get our fire going and uh, show you this working. On the outside here, this is a fireproof cable. And there's you've got your connection to uh, to put it in for your devices. You also get a handy USB uh, LED uh, wee torch there. Just a, a wire so you can plug that in when you're charging and move that around to support it wherever you wish. So you get that in the box, which is very handy to have. So the rest of your fireproof cabling is here. Uh, but you've got your purple logo there. When this lights up green, this lets you know you are charging. And uh, on this end is your connector. On this end is your USB in. It's the same port you have on the back of your computer and your laptops. Just your USB in. So you just marry these two up. There's a wee white sticker here. You marry that up with a white sticker there. And that's it plugged in. Okay. So marrying them up, just both on the same side. Can only go in one way. And that's it. Uh, with your fireproof cable, it is quite long, so that means that obviously you don't have to have your devices too close to the fire while you're charging it up. So you can have a nice long cable away while you're in this is in use, and then plug your your device into it. So um, what I do then is usually you can there's all your instructions in here if you want to learn more about it. Well, you just get your your cable. Now this is you get some various ones. There's your USB in. This is for an iPhone or a, you know from an iPhone up to an iPhone 4S. Okay, so you have that. Just a wee plug adapter. Plug it in there. So we've used that one, and you have a couple of other USB devices. You have a micro. USB for I could charge a camera with that. There is, I'm sure you guys will know these type of connectors, maybe for different types of mobile phones. Okay. Then it's a, a very skinny USB, and again, probably for another mobile. I'm not too sure on them, but I'm sure you guys will know. Okay, I've just had an Apple product, so you've got that. That comes with it. Now, personally for me, my phone is knackered. The connection is knackered. Um, so it's quite hard for me to get a secure connection on my phone. Basically, let's get a brew on. So in preparation, just got our, our clean canteen bottle, okay? And you just want to put your water in that. Put a generous amount of water in. Don't overfill because remember this is going to boil. But a generous amount of water, and then you've got your, your cup. Your cup's got your plastic sleeves on it. Okay, you can eat out of that, drink out of it, eat out of it, whatever. Put that on. Now you also have handles on your bottom of your power pot too. And what I do is just like this: is close it up. Let's bring in for a wee closer look. 
what I tend to do is close up the sides, set the power plug cable on top. That means it's not dangling down, it's not touching, it's not going to risk of getting destroyed, okay? And then I've got, if I really want to be super, super tidy with it, what I can do is just put that up, okay? So I can set that up out of the way, but for now, very easy for me just to have lid on there, cable there, and then run this safely away from the fire, run my cable safely away, start charging my devices. So let's get the fire prepped and uh, get going. Okay, so you see we've got our fire going. What I'm going to go now is just pop the power pod on and I'll show you in operation. So what we're doing, set the power pod on. It's got our water in there. Get our fireproof cable out of the road. Our lid's on. And all we do now is wait till this goes green. And when this goes green, it means that we're generating enough heat to start charging our devices. Okay, just been probably two, three minutes. And you can see our LED is lit up green. That means we're now generating electricity. Right, what I've done is I've actually switched to my iPhone. Because uh, I've just found my iPhone connector. And my iPad is absolutely dead, so it's going to take a while to charge it up. Um, and kick into life. But you can see the power plug light is on. So that means we are generating electricity. And uh, from there, got my iPhone cable. I'd say I've got a, quite a dodgy socket in here, but you should be able to see. I can get this to focus. We are charging. So yeah, our apologies about the um, the picture quality on my phone, but I'd say my connector is quite dodgy. But uh, you can clearly see that we are generating electricity. So I'm charging my iPhone now. So as long as I keep an eye on the water, I really need to keep an eye on the water level. If you let the water level drop too low in the power pot, you will damage it. So you have to keep an eye on it. So just having a wee look inside now and again, there's no way that's boiling at anywhere near boiling point now. But you want to make sure that you do not let it boil dry. Now this can be used on likes of a wood burning stove like this. If you're out doing uh, some camping and you're bringing something like this along with you, you can charge up your devices and say make a brew at the same time. You can also plug this into a power pot. This is the basic power pot model. We have other models on our website that actually have a battery pack. So you can plug it into a battery pack, store up your battery power and then charge up your devices as and when you need to. So check out, links are in the description box for each of the power pot uh, bundles. Pick which one that suits you at the price that suits you. So this has been used on open fire. I'll just certain some clips of that now. But basically, you, they say you can use it on any uh, source, be it a fire like this, be it a gas uh, burner, be it a wood burning stove, stuff like that there. So we're gonna try it out in the campfire. Got a wee grill on the top right next to my sausages. As you can see, working there on a uh, open fire also can be used on a gas burner as well as say sitting on top of a wood burning stove like this what's better sitting out here it's an April uh, evening the lambs are bleeding in the field got a nice heat off the, uh, the, the cooker here off my wood burner boiling up some water charging my devices and I can have a brew at the same time can't really beat that can you so there you go guys that is the power pot stove. Excellent bit of kit if you want to, um, to be more portable 
uh, with your with your camping kit. Been able to get a brew on there for a good amount of people. That's at least two cup, uh, two big mugfuls of water for your brew. Stick a boil in the bag ration in there if you want to cook some food, and then you can um, have your brew, charge your devices. It's as easy as that. Now, one other wee tip is you can see if I if we come down here. We're generating electricity. What I'm going to do is remove the power pot from the fire. Set it down here on the ground. We're still generating electricity because of the residual heat in the water is still making uh, contact with the element and that is still producing electricity. You can see they're starting to flash, starting to go down a bit. Um, but there you are, it's as easy as that. You can control it, you make your water up. If you don't have um, enough for two brews, then you can take that off and uh, continue to charge. There's your element. Basically just coiled wire around there is sealed and uh, your fireproof cable comes up around that there. That's what heats up. That's what generates your electricity and charges your devices. They are power pot, excellent bit of kit, great fun to use. And uh, feel free to put in the comments uh, of your experiences with power pot if you've used it before. Would love to know um, where you've used this, your camping adventures. Let us know how you've got up, how you've got on with it. But as you can see here guys, I have a lovely roaring fire. And I'm charging up my devices. So I can just close that over. Get a nice draw on there. And uh, really get the water boiling. Just checking in. Again, we're charging up, but we haven't got our boil yet. And that's when you're on a small fire. If you use that there on a gas burner, you're obviously going to get a boil quicker, but you're not going to benefit as much from charging your device because you're going to be, you're not going to get as much uh, of a long charge on it. This is still going. That's still boiling up. Fire's still going. Can't be better than that. Also very good in the event if the power goes out in your home, being able to charge your mobile devices and say a power pack as well and then to charge up other devices if you wish. Having a gas cooker, having something like this and uh, being able to, to keep power going when the power is out. There, thanks very much for watching guys, take care.